Welcome back again to uh, Imperial Splendor. Uh, on the last uh, video I completed my turn and it was a turn end. So I clicked the turn end button and somebody attacked me. And I forgot to save the battle. So I'm going to have to do the whole thing all over again. So anyway, here's the turn end. Let's hope they attack me again. So um, I can show you what happened. So on the last video I didn't include a battle, I just did an auto resolve. Um, and I thought, well, I don't know, it, it was a fairly decent sized battle this one. And, and I thought, well, it's probably not going to happen now. <laughs> Now I've done this. Right. Oh right, Prussia. Um, what do I do? Uh, refuse the offer, I think. Yeah, I'll refuse the offer of a trade agreement with Prussia because I think Prussia are falling. Prussia are falling to bits, and I know what's going to happen. As soon as I accept a trade agreement, somebody's going to siege Berlin, and then I'm going to lose all that trade. So it's just not worth messing about with them. It really isn't. So. Yeah, but now it might even go down well with the Poles. You know, to know that I don't want to get into bed, so to speak, with the Prussians. So. Right. Ottomans. Ah. Alright, okay. Um. I wonder if this means it's not going to happen now. Yes. No, no, I, I think it's still... Yeah, anyway, um, I, I, I did the whole of this battle. It took me ages. It took me about 25 minutes to fight this battle as well. Um, and it came out really successfully for me as <laughs> well. I thought, oh, you know, that's going to be really good. So, I, And then I just clicked OK, you know, when it said victory. I said, oh, yeah, oh, this is it. Now, look, all these ships against just those five. Now, I haven't got a lot to fight with there, have I, really? But you notice his ships aren't full in terms of their guns. He's got a race-built galleon in there. He's got a six-rated now. I'm sure there's, there's one. I don't think there's another, is there? No, it's just a sloop. So, yeah, it, it was a pretty splendid battle. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's got ten ships in there. So, I'm going to see if I can remember this time to um, to record the battle afterwards, because it takes a long time to actually fight the battle. I do it on super speed, so, <laughs> you know, just try and get the battle over. It still takes 25 minutes. So, I think this is going to look so much better recorded. So, anyway, I'll, um, I'll show you the recording as soon as I've got it done. Well, it's going to come as no surprise. I pre-recorded this battle, um, so I'm going back in here and doing the commentary afterwards. It means that I can sort of free up more of my time, because I, I tend to get involved in the minutiae of turning ships around. Everything's going on hyper speed, by the way, at the moment. I did have... Um, the, the, but I, basically, my, my ships would have formed up in line that way. What I've done is I've formed them up in line, and then I've you know, used the, the arrow thing to turn them around so that they're facing that way. So... Um, and, the AI is much more intelligent in Imperial Splendor, whoops, sorry, which means that, that um, he doesn't uh, try and go another way or he doesn't go straight for you. He will always alter his line so that he lines his line up with you, which is naval tactics from the period. It makes a great deal of sense. Like I said, I'm on high speed at the moment just so we can get through things um, in a decent period of time, because this is just really the, the cat and mouse sort of time, the, the setup sort of time. He's got the wind in his favour. I do that all the time. I don't try and get um, uh, downwind, upwind of him, sorry. I, d I don't do that, because what I want to do is, um, uh, is encourage him to use his sails, because if he does that, then I've got more chance of taking out his sails. It looks like he's going to be the first to get the first shot in here. I don't remember what happens there, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, Okay, and this is probably his six rate, isn't it? Okay, I don't know how he's doing for guns on this one. He's only got 12 out of 32, 39 men on the ship, so presumably he can only fire six. Well, I don't know, it felt like about four that, didn't it? It didn't seem like six, anyway. Okay, well, we should be getting... Oh, no, it looks like we fired at something. Oh, we did, we fired at him, and I missed it, because we've obviously hit some of his sails, haven't we? So... This chap here has obviously taken some hits to his sails. He didn't seem to shoot many either, did he? He's got 18 there. 18 guns out of 26. So, um, it's looking pretty well in our favour, this one. Uh, uh, my intention is, of course, to try and stop the first ship, to remove his sails so that all the other ships then behind will bunch up. That's what's always happened in the, um, the vanilla game. Uh, the AI is much more intelligent in this, and he doesn't behave in that way. What he does... Oh, there goes the main mast. Yeah. Um, 
what he does at the point when he thinks oops I can't make the centre what he does is he tries to go for the line he tries to get every ship involved what he doesn't want to do is get caught behind his own first ship so he will peel out of line if you like peel off or whatever uh, but at the moment he still feels as though he can make it I uh, presume and that's why he's dealing with it this way um, it's the point really where the sails go on this first ship that he then has those problems. Now that's a six rate I've got in there. My brig is on the back. Oh, unfortunately my brig is going to take a bit of a hammering here uh, from all of those ships. But really the brig is a low fighting ship for me. Uh, it's not a ship of the line and I'm using ships of the line here. It's an independently operated ship really, the brig. Um, and I just wanted to be part of the line so I'm really not too worried about him. He's a real tail ender. So that's a cricket term by the way, it's the one that you don't expect to do much. They're like uh, your bowlers and things, or fielders, uh, the ones that are particularly good at that but not very good at batting, so you put them on as what you call tail enders. So, right, okay, um, it looks like his cell's about to go to turning yet? Not yet, he still feels as though he's okay, he still feels like he can make it. Um, I don't know if he's lost any guns or not. Um, he certainly lost a couple of men. It just says 12 out of 32. I don't suppose he started this with 32. I think 32 is what he's supposed to have at the beginning, isn't he? I think. Yeah, I think it is. OK, this is it now. He's obviously decided... He's like, Yeah, you go, you see. He's only got a little bit of red there showing the sail. So he obviously didn't have much sail left. So he's decided now that he, he's going to... Um, hold up all the rest of his ships so he started to go for my line. At this point what I need to do is get a kind of semicircle around him so as he comes down towards my line I can get some good effect against him. So uh, unfortunately this poor little tail ender um, does get left behind a bit so or rather a little bit overexposed but He's doing the right thing, he's getting his ships into position, not getting snarled up behind his own ships, and then what he's doing is he's, um, uh, he's getting them close enough so that he can either penetrate my line or begin to switch, um, well, get so far and then turn for his broadside. You see this one here is coming in for a broadside. This one here might well be able to fire as well. It says it's firing. I'm not keen on blowing anything up, of course. I'm more happy to lose my own brig and take one of his captured ones afterwards. So it looks like that one's just had a shot in there, doesn't it? No, it looks like some of it hit the sea. This looks like the crucial one here, doesn't it? This one here coming in. I don't know what it is, actually. It's, a, it's only a brig. Yeah, but we're taking a bit of a hammering on here, I'm afraid. Uh, now, I'm looking closely at this because I want to see exactly what happened to it, but um, I didn't do this during the battle, I just completely ignored it. It's got only 18 now to 26. Oh, maybe I have decided... To, yeah, I've decided to turn all the ships now. So I've turned this one because I thought I was going to get hit by a broadside. So I did manage. I, I am now micromanaging them um, on the seascape. Um, so that I can turn each ship individually. Otherwise, the whole line is going to turn around, and that can be a bit of a pain, that. So, and also, this gets me away from this ship here that's been firing at me. Maybe he'll, he'll then become out of my range. What I really need to learn to do... Most guns destroyed, you see. 14 out of 26. You might get one shot in uh, at somebody. I don't know. We'll have to see, won't we? Um... 18, 14 out of 26 now. He's doing some damage, so it's worth having, I think. He's probably just fired at that one there, hasn't he? That one there is now surrendered. So the brig would have been instrumental in doing that, alongside the six rate as well, so he did have some purpose there. Is he going to get a shot in against this one? Right. Yeah. The trouble is, we're so low on guns now. This is the point, really, where I need to... Um, Oh dear, he's going to get a hammering, isn't he, from this brig now. What's he got? He's got 26 out of 26, I think, hasn't he? Yeah, he's, he's a full one. And we've only got, like I said, 14 left. So I think we've had it there, really. <coughs> OK, I'm focusing mainly on this ship because I know what happens. <laughs> so I just want to see at what point it happens. Yeah, you see, I decided I could... I, I thought at this point that my sails were better than his, so I could outrun him. But for some reason I just couldn't manage it. I, I just didn't have the speed over him. 
And I don't quite know why, because my sales were more complete than his. So I really thought that I would beat him on that and cut off the end and get away from these other ships here. It didn't work. He managed to cut me off, and I really don't know why. I wonder if maybe he's got top gallants or something, or he's got some extra um, naval bonus or something that enables him to do that. But you see what he's done now? He's cut me off, so I can't now get away from these other ships. And, of course, he's in a position to broadside me. Um, I don't know if I've got any shocks left to fire this side. Yes, it seems as though I have. Hit a few... Oh, there you go. Now, that is what I knew was going to happen. And there goes my brig. Oh, dear. Oh, well. Obviously, hit the powder storage or something. Right. Now, here, we, I feel as though we get... You see, I've been dodging around with this one. I know he's, he's left the line behind. But it was to prevent this one here, that this sloop, because they're pretty fast sloops, from getting away from me. So that's what that's all about. So these ships here, I mean, a lot of these are surrendered already, so we're doing all right here. Um, it's just a case, really, of, um, uh, of, of sort of cutting him off so he can't escape, uh, which is what I believe he's trying to do at that point. Now, that my brig going, failing that race at the end here, has now caused me problems. I could have at least done with stopping that one in the water. That failed. So I really have no choice now other than to bring this one round here so that I can take that one out. It doesn't look like he's even moving in the water. It looks like I've forgotten about him, doesn't it? Oh, no, no, he's turning. Yes, he is turning. Yep, shot to that way. And we should get a shot in here as well. Let's hope this one is enough. Compared with the sacrifice of the brig as well, or rather added to that sacrifice that he made to slow him down enough. But it is a bit of a pain that he's um, faster than me, even when we've damaged um, a decent amount of his sail at the same time. So, um, I've, you know, basically, it, I failed on that one. But um, I think my thinking was right. You know, I was uh, um, I was looking at things the right way. So, right, okay. Like I said, I know how this battle goes because um, I, I managed to remember for the first time to save it. But this battle took me about 25 minutes to fight. Um, I speeded up the beginning of it while we were getting into position. That's probably a good 5, maybe even 10 minutes. So I imagine it's about 15 minutes, this battle, um, you know, for, for showing it. But um, uh, I, I didn't want to sort of get you involved really in watching a 25 minute ship battle that's just like this. Um, besides, we can see much more of the ship action like this. I don't know what that one is actually. It's, um, that's a sloop again. Very impressive sails on sloops, haven't they? I don't know why their sloops survive so well. You'd have thought their sails would have got hit much more than they seem to. How many have we gone down to here? 29 out of 32. Oh, I shouldn't complain about that. You see how the morale goes down when you um, take out the sails. A lot of them just surrender. Some of them don't, and you have to then get close enough to hit them with grape shot. Um, but, especially with sloops, if you turn to ball, you will blow them out of the water. And I don't really want to do that. I'm greedy for spoils, I'm afraid. So, it's the Walter Rally in me, I think, or the Francis Drake. Oh, I want the spoils. Uh, when you think how long it takes to build a ship, all the people that are involved in it. It's a very, very expensive exercise. If you can bring bring only the the hunk of the ship, only the, the bulk, if you like, the the, um, the main body of the ship, if you can bring that um, and drag it into shore, then all they've got to do is set masts on it. It's so much quicker. It can I mean, you can repair a ship in a few weeks. To build one could take six months and cost thousands and thousands of pounds, you know. So, um, so it really is an amazing thing to bring back ships. Um, I could just imagine, you know, our fleets going out there into the English Channel and raiding people, bringing them, towing them back in, you know, to the Queen's pleasure, you know, to Elizabeth's pleasure there, um, watching from uh, one of her castles, you know, to um, suddenly see her navy has increased by 10% and it's cost her little or perhaps not even anything. And whatever she has got, she's got from the spoils from the ships and the, the pewter that was on board it, any of the goods that were on board it, even prisoners that might be craftsmen who you can keep as prisoners. Um, all you do is, is feed them and they'll repair your ships as well. So basically you're getting money 
and you're getting free labour and you're getting an increase in the total number of ships that you've got so it's all to the good isn't it it really is um, all right, what I don't want to do, and this is what really annoys me, it's a bit like um, uh, Mongols um, shooting horses. They didn't want to do that. They wanted to shoot only the riders. It was considered to be a very bad thing to shoot horses because the horses were, were very valuable, you know, and of course so are ships in this. Now, I think we've got virtually everybody now. We're now circling this one here. This one's still the sloop. Uh, he tended to evade me quite a lot. He didn't have many guns, so I wasn't too worried about him. Only nine out of eighteen. Uh, but maybe this is the one that finally gets him, is it? This one here. You see this is going to shoot both ways, of course. He's going to shoot over to his left as well as his right. Both at the same time. Why aren't we hitting more of his sails? He's definitely struggling, because I mean, he's, he's got red on there now, isn't he, on the top? So, he must be about to go soon. I wish I could tell which ships are ready to fire, and then I could watch those. But this one now looks as though he's completely dead in the water, doesn't he? He's only drifting, isn't he? Okay, I don't know. Right, okay, his number of men have gone down. Down to 9 out of 18 guns. It's just really a case now of um, catching up with him. It's a case of micromanagement, isn't it? Once you've stopped his ships from moving, what you need to do really is then get in amongst them at a time, at a place where it's going to be advantageous only to yourself. You see, look at these. They've got absolutely nothing left. They surrendered because they're thinking, I can't do anything. You know, basically I'm a barge now, you know, and I'm at sea, so... Uh, they know anybody else can do it. I keep clicking on them like I can move them. Um, I keep forgetting. So, what about this one here? He's 24 out of 25. Only 10 left now. He's a race built galleon. It's tempting, isn't it, with ships like these when they're firing back at you and causing damage that you're then going to have to pay for afterwards. It's very tempting, isn't it, to, to start blasting him with ball because he's one of the bigger ships. And certainly those shots there looked completely wasted to me because I don't think. Um, I, I don't think we can hit any more sail there really. Maybe that red will disappear completely and end up with no sail at all. I just don't know but the, these shots really are wasted. I just didn't want to hit him with ball because I didn't want him to go out of the water. What I really need to do is get close enough to him so that I can start hitting him with grape shot. So we've got another one over here. That's a brig. Oh that's surrendered sorry. Right. Where's that sloop gone? Have we got him yet? I think we probably have. Haven't we surrendered? Uh, sloop, I think that's the one, isn't it? And it's surrendered. Yeah, so that's all been happening while we've been down here. Um, I'm not sure if I got close enough. I might well have got close enough to grape him, actually. Uh, but certainly we took away his sails and that was enough. And of course there's less um, repair, there are less repairs needed uh, once a ship is in, uh, you know, once its sails have only been knocked out. See, its crew is fairly, inta fairly intact. You haven't knocked out too many of his guns, you haven't created too much damage to his hulls. So it's a lot cheaper to repair the ships as well if you do it this way. Um, I know some like to use ball and I've heard people recommend it as well. And maybe in this as well, I'll need to do the same when it gets a more crucial battle. But this was pretty crucial actually. I had a lot of ships against me. I know they weren't um, fully rigged. Well, they were fully rigged, but they, they weren't fully armed, were they, I suppose? is the best way to describe it. See what's happening now, a lot of my shots are just completely wasted, they're going flying over the top, they might splinter a little bit, but other than that they're completely wasted. This is what um, looking at something on a replay can do for you really, so that you get to know exactly what's going on, because basically all these shots I'm putting in now are wasted. To be quite frank with you, I'm pretty sure I knew this during the battle, and I just thought, well, I don't want to fire ball, I might as well fire something, because I might hit someone. At some point his general, uh, or admiral rather, dies, you know, so maybe we get a lucky shot again against them. I don't know. But this will be the crucial one now coming up. This will be the grape shot. Now grape is nothing like as effective against um, uh, against galleon style ships but um, it's certainly better than what I've been doing so far. Right okay let's see what happens when we do this. Well, what have I got on here? 18 out of 25 he's got left. Um, he's not quite on half strength yet. Well, I'm surprised he can even fire nine guns if the situation arises. I don't think... I think uh, he is routing. That's something I hadn't noticed before, actually. They don't fire while they're routing. Now, I don't know if that's because well, it's all hands to the deck to try and get away, or what, but he certainly... Oh, I missed the grape shot then. 17. So I managed to kill one man with that grape shot. It's just ridiculous. And he's still moving in the water, which is quite odd. Right, OK, well, at this point, I've decided that I'm going to go in for the kill. Oh, we did seem to hit 
something of a sail there, you know. Uh, I wonder if that is enabling him to move just a little bit, because he is still moving through the water. In fact, truth be told, a lot quicker than he ought to be, really. Because I mean, I, He's not quite keeping pace of mind. I'll tell you what, he's not doing bad, is he? Right, we're still firing grape. He's now 16. So I'm basically getting one per turn. That's going to take a long time. But he isn't firing back. Now, I didn't know this, like I said before, about routing troops. One thing I can tell you about routing ships is that um, they can stop routing. Well, you've probably guessed that one already, but that's something to watch out for. So that obviously they will fire back if that happens. Right, here we go. That This is that usual circling that you get. They, sh they sh fired. I was going to say they shot them, but they fired... Um, just to the point this was crossing, some of them fired um, and I managed to stop them in time. So that wasn't a full broadside that went in from that ship. I just managed to catch them in time uh, and give them a ceasefire. In fact, I was watching them very closely. Oh, I didn't get to see how many men he got left, did I, at the end of that? But um, anyway, there are the unit statistics. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, oh, I think I need a drink of tea. Um, and I should imagine uh, the one... Um, that's killed the most, which is this one here, is the one that was just firing that grape at the end. But I have no means of knowing that. But OK. I'll show you the results on the campaign map as well and see if I can integrate it smoothly into an overall video. Well, here you can see the results that are showing up on the campaign map. I lost a ship. It did explode. It was my brig. Um, I'll probably tell you that during the battle now, of course, won't I? Because I've known it after the effects. I didn't know which one had blown up during the battle. So, right, OK. Um, I seem to have caught lots and lots of nice little prizes. I just want a 6 or 8, please. Uh, Racebook Galleon, I'm not too bothered about. Where's your 6 or 8? Let's hope it survived. Did it? Yes, I'll have that. And this? Nope. No, no, I'll just have the six. Oh, just have the six rate, please. Um, add that one to my fleet and sell the rest. Eight thousand seven hundred and ninety-seven. Very pleased about that. Do I replace the brig? I didn't want a brig in the first place, did I? So let's replace the brig with a six rate. I think that makes the most sense, doesn't it? So, okay, very good. Uh, and I'll just finish the turn end, and I think this should be it for this video then, because that is going to be a pretty long battle, and I've no means of knowing really what the length of that battle is going to be. So, building constructed, what's that, Texas? Uh, thank you very much. And um, what have I got? Recruitment report, uh, Lower Louisiana and New France. Excellent. And then on here, New Town emerges, Manchester, England. Oh, we've got Manchester. Oh, I know what I'm going to build in there. Two football clubs. Then they can rival each other. Loads of fans can go and watch them all the time. And they'll make millions and millions and millions of pounds. It'll be fantastic. Yeah, why wasn't it thought of before? I Just out of curiosity, I do want to know, though, if what this 19 has become now. One. One? Wow! That means I'm getting a port. It's here. That's brilliant. That means I can trade through there. Oh, that's good. That's just artillery, isn't it? Yeah, OK, anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed the sea battle. Um, I know it all sounds a bit strange to you now, but I'm going to go back in there and um, record the voice on it. I'm going to play the battle back to myself and then record the voice. Um, so I hope it looked as good to you as it did to me while I was playing it. So, OK, thanks for watching again, folks.